At Yama, we've been quite excited about Microsoft's development of OneNote. It proves to be a great tool for presenting both in the education or the business environment. First off, it comes with a great selection of annotation tools such as pens and pencils and highlighters, enabling you to annotate directly onto the screen. Um, has a great um, annotation to shape functionality being able to convert your drawings into geometric shapes, and also a very, very handy ink to text functionality, converting your handwriting into neat and accurate fonts. It gives you a great function in terms of being able to insert content from different sources. So when, when we're presenting within the, the business or the education sector, many people want to transfer content from different sources directly into the OneNote so we can start annotating over them. And here is a great example being able to insert a picture from a different source, such as some content I've prepared earlier. Be able to drag that into the workplace using pinch and zoom to you know, make it bigger for the audience. And again, annotate directly over that document and highlighting key areas of the messages you want to convey to people. Um, there are some other great functions which uh, um, Microsoft have just announced in the latest fall update, such as the ability to add multiple choice question is by clicking the insert function and inserting a form. And this would give you the ability to actually create really dynamic, impressive, um, multiple choice and question sets, which are absolutely ideal for presenting and conveying ideas, testing your students, testing your, your meeting recipients to see if they've actually understood the concept of what you're discussing. Um, another great function is the researcher tab. So, be it in a, in a lesson or a business environment, we can use the researcher tab to directly pull in content from different sources which are relevant to the set, to, to relevant to what we're discussing, uh, such as we could be discussing wind power, and um, we can click on subjects we're quite, you know, we can click on something we're interested in and actually import that directly into our workspace and again annotate over content from third-party sources, which is actually a fantastic function. Um, another, um, another aspect, uh, which is a very, very powerful tool in the OneNote environment, is being able to share the function. So, uh, by clicking on share, I can now send my colleagues a link to the same document. So many people ask us about how can we engage in collaborative lessons and collaborative meetings. Um, and is there a need to, to invest in third-party software? Well, when you're using Microsoft, no. So whether you're using Excel, Word, or PowerPoint, um, or OneNote, clicking on the share function enables you to actually send a link to this notebook, which is, uh, you can edit live through Microsoft Cloud, and it enables multiple people from different geographical locations to actually log on to the session, annotate over your same documents, and view your annotations live. And when you're working in conjunction with something like Skype, for example, it gives you a brilliant video conference facility, whether you're presenting to a class of students or you know, your colleagues in a boardroom environment, for example.